Hello and welcome back everybody to another Ten Shadow video. Today we are in lesson number six in this FS Academy Jetliner training series. This video is going to be about the approach, so let's get going. Welcome back. We're in the descent into Barcelona, on our way down to flight level 9-0. At around this point of the flight, 10,000 feet, we turn on the seatbelt signs and instruct the cabin crew to secure the cabin for landing. Alright, so we'll turn on those seatbelt signs right there. Cabin crew, prepare the cabin for landing. Jetliner 488, expect ILS Zulu, runway 25 right. ILS Zulu, runway 25 right, Jetliner 488. ATC have told us that we're going to land on runway 25 right by performing the ILS Zulu approach. Enter this into the FMGC by clicking Flight Plan to display our current routing. Next, click on the okay. button next to LEBL the ICAO code for Barcelona, written in white. Next, click the top left button where it says Arrival. This brings up a list of all the available arrivals in the navigation database. Now, use the up arrow to scroll through the list of approaches until you find ILS 25 right Zulu. Click on it once you find it. Being careful to select the correct approach. After selecting the approach, you see it displayed in yellow on the wow, MD. That's a crazy Press insert route. to activate this approach. Alright, so let's uh, insert it now. That's crazy. Once below 10,000 feet, our 250 knot speed restriction applies. Select a speed of 250 knots. Okay, going to 250. Jetliner 488, descend altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1010. Descending to altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1010, Jetliner 488. Set 4,000 in the out window on the FCU and pull for open descent. Okay, 4,000 set, pull is the down arrow. Just like switching the altimeters to standard during the climb into the flight levels, we're now switching back to altitudes. Push the barrow knob and set a Q and H of one zero and pushes one zero. Up. Done. Great. Now we're back to using altitudes for our height reference. Jetliner four eight eight direct to Tebla. Direct Tebla, Jetliner four eight eight. Press direct on the FMGC and enter Tebla as our direct two waypoint. Tango, Echo, Bravo, Lima, You can type Lima, Tebla in directly Alpha. or scroll through the list to find it, pressing insert. Good, this cuts out most of the arrival and gives us a better idea of our distance remaining. Okay, so it didn't change because it's we're not managing managed mode. Outside. They're heading. Turn on the landing lights to make we'll us to easier to see. Push that in. There we go. Now it's working. I noticed this is kind of um in I've I've done this lesson a couple times and sometimes this is in managed mode and sometimes it's not, so I, I don't know what the deal is. But if you're not in managed mode you need to make sure that you put it in there, otherwise you won't turn direct when you need to. Just keep that in mind. Jetliner four eight eight, speed two one zero. Speed 210, Jetliner 488. Okay, 210 set. Before landing, we use the FMGC to activate the approach phase, which allows the FMGC to control our speed on final approach. 
The approach phase will activate automatically when we reach the decel point on the ND, or you can activate it manually. Let's talk about how we decelerate and configure the aircraft for landing. On the PFT speed tape, notice the amber coloured equals sign. This represents the maximum speed for the next stage of flaps, Those called right there. VFE next. Before extending flaps, we make sure that our speed is below VFE next, otherwise we'll overspeed the flaps. A typical deceleration profile for the A320 begins with extending flaps 1 and setting a speed of 180 knots. Once we're on the approach, we'll extend flaps 2 and take 160 knots. Makes sense. Let's start configuring. Check your speed is below VFE next on yep. the PFD and select flaps 1. Flaps one. We can get a big boost in lift from the flaps, known as ballooning, but allow the autopilot to take care of this. Wow, that's a huge balloon. Almost now 3, select feet. 180 knots. One eighty set. Look at that. We're five thousand. We went up over a thousand feet in that balloon. Jetliner 488, descend altitude 3,000 feet. Descending 3,000 feet, Jetliner 488. Going down to 3,000? Jetliner 488, turn right, heading 170. Right heading 170, Jetliner 488. Set a heading of 170 Oops. in the FCU and pull to select. I push, not pull. There we go. For this approach, we're going to follow the ILS. Before doing so, we need to ensure that the correct ILS is being displayed. Please check that the ILS ident Bravo Charlie Alpha is displayed at the bottom left of the PFD, is? which is the correct ILS for 25 right. If not, you have the wrong approach selected in the FMGC, which will need changing right away. So far, so good. Jetliner 488, cleared ILS approach, runway 25 right. Cleared ILS 25 right, Jetliner 488. Now that we're cleared for the approach, arm the approach mode by pushing the approach button on the FCU. Now the autopilot is ready to capture and follow the localizer and glide slope. Lock mode has engaged, which will capture the localizer. Yep. Fly slopes alive. Glide slope mode captures and descends down the glide slope. Now extend flaps two. Flaps two. And bring us back to 160 knots. 160 knots set. 2,500. Localizer's coming in.
fucking good. Gear down. Gear going down. Now that the gear is down, arm the spoilers. Spoilers armed. Now set flaps three. Flaps three. And finally, flaps full. Now push the speed knob for managed speed. All right, there's the runway. Let's turn on track IR. The speed target is now magenta, indicating we're in managed speed, giving us our target approach speed. Raise up the viewpoint. Jetliner 488 cleared to land, runway 25 right, wind 210 at 16. Cleared to land, runway 25 right, jetliner 488. Landing checklist. Cabin secured for landing. Auto thrust speed. Go around altitude 3000 set. ECAM memo land no blue. Landing checklist complete. Okay. Now disengage the autopilot and fly manually. Alrighty. Now fly Wish us down to the runway visually. At 50 feet, look to the far end of the runway. Then smoothly raise the nose a little to reduce our descent rate and move the thrust levers to idle. After touchdown, right, allow the, the nose slope. to gently lower onto the center line. Auto brake low is selected, which will handle the braking until we're nearly at taxi speed. We'll exit to the right. Got three whites, so we're high. This isn't a go around lesson, so <laughs> let's see here. Two. Coming in a bit high. Whoa. 100. Yep. Look to the end, flare, and thrust idle. Not on the center line. Allow the All nose right. to lower that was smoothly. horrible. But we're down. Passing 70 knots, press the brake pedals okay. to disengage the auto brake. Slow us down to a taxi speed below 30 Ooh. knots. All right, my track IR is definitely off a little bit, making things a little difficult. But yeah, that was a rough landing. one of the exits to the right. Well done. When we return, we'll look at how to taxi in after arrival, parking, and shutdown. 